My little Christopher Andrew, determined from a very young age, would never go out in cricket or any other game he played. Fast forward a few years when he met Nicole, he rang me and he said, Mum, there's somebody I want you to meet. Chris never did this. He brought Nicole around and I knew he was smitten. I had to go to Melbourne for a while in June of 2018 and Chris came over on the first weekend and I remember him telling me and his grandma in the lift of where I was staying, I'm going to marry her and she's going to be the mother of my children. Poor Nicole was only 19 and probably hadn't even thought about having kids at that stage, but that's how determined he is. I love you Chris and I'm so very proud of you. Chris and Nicole, you are a great team. You have a beautiful son in Houston who we all love to bits. Uh, I wasn't real sure where to go with this, because I've obviously known Chris every second he's been alive, so there's plenty of stories and memories. So, so that brings me to a more recent trip in New, to New Zealand in 2018, when all Chris was worried about was the footy scores for the Penguin Football Club, women's team. Initial thoughts, he was eyeing off a game for them. But we haven't seen him much since that trip as he took out a mortgage on the cam bar at the Penguin Football Club. Uh, in all seriousness, we are great mates with lots of good memories and stories, but we haven't got all night. And... Our wedding day is finally here. The day we become husband and wife. The day I've dreamed of since meeting you and falling in love with you. I hope today is everything you could have wished for and even if today doesn't go as perfectly as planned, as long as I'm marrying you, that's perfect to me. You make me the happiest person and I'm forever grateful for what you provide to Houston and myself. I certainly believe we're a perfect match for each other and I cannot wait to become your wife and take your name in a few hours. See you at two when we say I do. All my love, Nicole. I've had the privilege of knowing Nicole for almost 12 years. We first met when she was forced to sit next to me on the school bus, much to her dismay at the time. You're truly like a sister to me and we have shared it all and I could sit here and go on and on and tell you about the countless memories I have about Nicole and tell you how much she means to me, but as I sat down to write this, all I could think was, oh my God, she's actually getting married. You're the kind of person whose energy and smile radiates in a room. Your positivity is infectious and you leave a mark on everyone that you know. You are loving, compassionate and kind, the type of person who would do anything for you and always go out of your way to help. And now, depending on who you ask, the newlyweds met through mutual friends or in the back of a cop car. Either way, I'm really glad that it happened. Nicole didn't have the best of luck and I may have been a bit sceptical about this new man, Chris. I honestly didn't think that anyone would ever be good enough. But Chris, you've put all those thoughts at ease and there is no one more perfect that I can imagine Nicole spending the rest of her life with. Dear Nicole, well the day is finally here, a day that you have put so much effort into and me not so much. But that doesn't mean I'm not as excited as you are. I hope for the day that you can take the time to relax and enjoy all the moments that will come from it as I'm sure when we look back tomorrow this would have all gone by so fast. As long as it's perfect for you then nothing else matters. Although some say that I should be nervous, I'm feeling calm and can't wait to be able to call you my wife. You are my best friend and you deserve the world which I'll try my best to give you every day. I love you, Chris. Chris, I can't believe I'm standing here marrying you, my best friend, my true soulmate, my everything. Today is the day that all my dreams come true, as we say I do. From the moment we met, there was a true love and connection that words cannot describe, but you can only feel. I soon realised you was everything a person could want and need, and I'm grateful you choose that person to be me. You entered my life when I least expected it, and you changed it for the better. Your compassion, love, and dedication you provide Houston and myself never goes unnoticed. I will always stand by you through the good times and the bad, the highs and the lows, like we have the past five years. Nicole, they say that there are some things in life that are just meant to be. Something that I've heard before, but never quite understood until I met you. 
<laughs> you are my problem solver in life, even if you overreact 99% of the time. I know you're there to listen to my issues and help me in the tough times. Even if the outcome is something that you don't agree on, you always support me no matter what. I can't promise that life will always be this good, but I promise I'll be there for you with the shoulder to cry on, no matter what gets thrown at us. Uh, you are my dream come true every day. And I can't believe you chose to spend this life with me and make a beautiful family. Can't wait to continue our journey together with our little man Houston and you as my wife. I'm honestly so lucky to be spending the rest of my life with someone who cares for me so much and is my best friend. Today, in front of those we love, I'll give you my heart forever. I love you. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Christopher Andrew, take the V, Nicole Ashton, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Nicole Ashton, take the V, Christopher Andrew, to be my lawful wedded husband. I'm singing the star, singing the star. It's much pleasure that I now present you, Mr. and Mrs. Summers. It's now the time that we have all been waiting for, and Chris most of all, the time for their first married kiss. Chris, you may seal the deal and kiss your wife. Must say how well Nicole's scrubbed up, all right? Or did I? Today? Looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, there's so many things I was going to say, but I haven't. Oh, no, Chris is looking all right. And I must say, like, Wendy and myself, we spoke quite often about Chris. He was a bit of a worry. <laughs> He's, um, we couldn't sort of find anything wrong with him, we was a bit concerned, but there must be something out there, something out there somewhere which he's hiding, but no, he's proven to be pretty good, I think. <laughs> he's brought Houston into the world. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully there'll be another one or two coming soon. <laughs> Last but not least, we've got my two favourites. Houston. Houston. <laughs> I know it's easy to say, but you changed my life, that's for sure. There's something about seeing a mini version of yourself running around that just opens a part of your heart that you didn't know existed. You've taught me how to wake up before seven on a day off, something that I was never keen on, but now it seems like I have no choice. You keep me busy, little man, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And how cool is it that Mummy now has our last name? Finally, the, the star of the show, not only today, but every day in my life, Nicole. I knew when I jumped in the back of that cop car on the first night we met, and you were on the other side, that we'd be together forever.
wait to see what else our future holds or where it takes us. But as long as I have you in Houston by my side, hand in hand, I know that I'll be safe and loved wherever that may be. Chris, I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you as you with my husband. Thank you.